Well, here we go. Another licensed movie game adaption. This time, this one is for Alien 3, the somewhat frowned upon sequel to the classic Aliens. But the intro here really nicely captures the, uh, the... Wow. Don't remember that music from the film. Not sure I can quite agree with the description in the, in the review, which notes that the music is well skill. But it has a nice 16 bit vibe to it, but it's not something that totally fits the film that it's based on. This is the problem with this game. Whereas the film was a, a stripped back affair with a single alien against Ripley in a prison full of unarmed men, this game is a run and jump shooting affair. And look, you've got all of the guns and pulse rifles and stuff. The aim is to run around rescuing prisoners just before the clock runs out, just like the film. No. That's a lie. It's like the developers looked at the end of Aliens, when Ripley gets tooled up with guns and goes to rescue Newt, and thought that they'd do that. Which is something that the review acknowledges, saying that the film isn't something that's good material for a shooting game. But why does that have to be a shooting game? Especially when the Game Boy version went down the other route. Now, if you check the wiki page for the people who made this game, you'll see a long line of licensed games. So they were never a big name in the industry. But what they did with Alien 3 was to make the game a top-down Zelda-style adventure game. You play Ripley, who's exploring the prison, trying to stop the alien by finding keycards and weapons and items and whatnot. At one point you even have to rebuild Bishop, like in the film. This immediately makes more sense, as it fits in with the tone of the movie. There may be a few more aliens knocking around the place, but it feels like a much better adaptation of the film. The Mega Drive version sticks with the guns. Even worse, it takes the alien and turns into a hindrance rather than a threat. The tension of the game is built around that ticking clock in the corner of the screen, rather than the fact that there are vicious alien creatures hiding in the shadows. Right, here's an example. You have to rescue that guy at the top of that ramp, but you have to go around here up the pipe, then jump across here, only surprised there's an alien there. But isn't there in a scary way? It's there in a, I couldn't see that, what a stupid blind jump kind of way. Now the score for the game is 89%, which I could agree with if it wasn't an alien game. I'd stick a different theme around it. If you make it an Aliens game or one set in the same universe, then you're probably onto a winner. But when you see it in the context of the Game Boy game, that takes the concept and does it much better, there's clearly much more that could have, they could have done with the license, even in the early 90s. Which makes this too lazy for words. Can't agree with this review at all. <laughs> <laughs> 